guys, it's Josie, and today I'm going to be showing you how I turned four different colored hoods from different colored hoodies into a pair of color blocked shorts. The first thing I did was remove the hood from the remaining part of the hoodie. I used the graphic design part of each hoodie to turn it into a quilt, so that'll be a later video. But I didn't want to waste all the extra fabric, so I decided to make something out of the remaining fabric pieces. And in this video, I will be using the hoods to make a pair of color block shorts. Here I'm designing and drawing out what I want the shorts to look like and where I want each color to go and what pieces I want where. And you can see I scrapped the first idea and decided to draw up something else and I still didn't follow this drawing exactly because I changed my mind a lot during the process of making them to make it easier on myself and they ended up coming out way better than I expected. I cut each of the hoods at the bottom between where the drawstrings would go and then I laid out my shorts pattern piece to try and see how I could work the hoods to be the design I wanted, but then I decided that that wasn't working, so I cut up the back seam of each of the hoods. I started out with my rotary cutter on the bottom, and then I switched to my scissors going around the curves because that was a lot easier and it wasn't messing up the fabric. At this point, I was trying all of the hoods in different ways to see how I could make the shorts work. And then this is where I decided that it would be so much easier to just make the waistband on one of the pieces of the hoodie where you put the string through. So then the waistband has a drawstring as well and you can just use one of the original hoodie strings to put through the shorts to tie them tighter or to just leave them as part of the aesthetic of the shorts. After I cut the waistband out, I traced it on my pattern and then I cut the fabric out a little bit higher than that line just so I would have seam allowance later and then instead of trying to get my pattern exactly the way it was before and cut out the same seam allowance as before I just put the piece upside down onto the other piece of fabric to do the same thing and then I repeated that for both of the back pieces. This is also where I decided to label each piece on the right side of the fabric so I could make sure all my pockets were on the right piece and I didn't end up with a back pocket on the front of the shorts and vice versa. At first, I couldn't figure out how I wanted the pockets to go, so I cut out the back pocket first and then on a piece of tracing paper, I laid it over the front of the shorts and then I traced sort of around my hand but I kept it in a rectangle shape so that it would match the color blocked look and then I just cut it out and I put it on the front of the shorts. I also took this extra piece of the gray hoodie to make a pocket on the gray side of the shorts. Here I'm just showing you all of the pattern pieces I have. I have the front left with the pocket that I didn't show and then I have the right side pocket with the right side of the shorts and these two are both of the front pieces. As you can see the pocket is angled and then I have the back left piece and the back right piece that has the square pocket. Now I am sewing down the pockets first, so the side of the pocket I'm sewing on the wrong side so I can flip it over and you won't see the seam, but on the bottom of each pocket I sewed it on the front so you can see where the seam is. 
And then I'm sewing the two front pieces right sides together. And then I'm going to sew the back pocket on using the same method I did on the bottom of both of the other pockets and tucking the fabric under and then just sewing over top. I did use navy thread so it matches instead of using something like white thread which would be a very big difference on the shorts. And then I am sewing the two back pieces right sides together. Here I'm matching up both of the right sides of the shorts to sew down the sides where we didn't sew the pockets in place because they will be in the side seams. And I ended up sewing both side seams twice for extra reinforcement. Here I just added a small dart into the back of the shorts so they would fit a little bit better and the waistband fit. Next I sewed on the waistband so I flipped the shorts right side out and then put the right side of the waistband onto it so I could flip the waistband right here after I sewed it down and the stitches of where it was sewn together are hidden. Right now I am just going around the whole waistband to make sure I got all of the fabric sewn into it and there's not any pieces sticking out. You will see shortly that there was one right in the front and the middle but then I just sewed a little piece right under it to make sure that spot wasn't there. Now that the shorts are almost done, I can remove all of my labels and then I am going to flip the shorts back to inside out so I can sew the inseam of the shorts so they're actually shorts and not a skirt like they are right now. And to do that, I'm just sewing a straight line. I did do it a few times over the middle because I kept missing a little piece of fabric and obviously you don't want a hole in the bottom of your shorts. Here are the shorts that I made. I just put the navy hoodie string in but i can switch it out to the white one the yellow one the gray one whatever and then here is the back so it has this back pocket two front side pockets and then obviously the drawstring so you can make it tighter if you need to I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, you can like and subscribe down below or leave a comment on what you want to see next and have a nice day.